SHOT SHOW 2016 at the Topps Knives booth with Craig again. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing really good, but enough chit chat. Let's get to some knives. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so we've got 22 new items this year. There are a whole lot of new things here on the table, but we're going to start with the one that everybody's been asking about, the Fieldcraft folder. We had this last year. We've been working on it all year. Uh, I mean, we ended up changing out the frames. We, we've got a different steel for the frames now. It was all going to be 1095. The frames are, are now going to be 154 cm. We're going to stick with the 1095 on the blade. Uh, still going to have the tan canvas handles. There will be a reversible pocket clip on this. It's going to have the bow drill divot. Um, and basically, we just want everybody to know that this is still going to happen. Every time we post something, we inevitably get the question, what about that bob folder? And you know, I just want to make sure everybody knows, we hear you, we want to release it just as badly as you want it. Um, we just want to make sure that it's right first. So we worked on a lot of different things. It's going to be a frame lock. Um, and all of these changes that we've made throughout the year have been to make sure that it's, it's a tops. You know, that it's overbuilt, it's heavy, it's, it's big and strong. Um, we got a chance to test it. I've been carrying one since September. I took it down to Columbia. I just beat on it the whole time I was there. I've used it pretty much every day since. It's, I still have it with me. I mean, I've been carrying it ever since. And it's still solid as a rock. I and mean, there's no play whatsoever. So, once we get a couple more tweaks, we're going to have this ready for production. I'm shooting for before Blade Show. Uh, that's really what we want to try to do. Um, at that point, once we get that released, the Tex Creek folder is going to be the one that we're working on next. That one also, we have not forgotten about. We just decided let's take it one at a time, get this one out, and then that one will be smooth sailing. So, there's your first look, or I guess your second look, <laughs> at the Fieldcraft folder. The second more refined look. It's coming along and it's looking really good. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Up next is a Joe Flowers design. Joe Flowers is, uh, I mean, he's a great guy. He's a biologist. He's, uh, he's a really smart guy. Loves the outdoors. Loves camping and bushcraft and just anything he can do outside, he's going to be there. And he's got a company, actually, called Bushcraft Global that does trips to the Amazon yearly. September, uh, actually that's where I was in Colombia, was down there with Joe. We, yeah, so in uh, this trip right here, basically he takes people down to the very southern corner of Colombia. You're right on the border with Brazil and Peru. And he's taking people out into the jungle where there are just thousands and thousands of things to see and you cannot see them all in the time you're going to be there but everything there is is it's just full of life and things that want to kill you at the same time it's it's so it's magical i mean it's just it's such a crazy trip if you ever get the chance you should absolutely go bushcraftglobal.com you can find them on facebook as well it's so worth it uh, anyway, the point of that rant is that he has designed a knife to be kind of the flagship knife for this trip. It's a 1095 high carbon steel. We've got green canvas micarta handles. The, uh, there's a tumble finish on this and it's covered with a clear Cerakote. So it is protected from rust um, anywhere aside from the grind. You've got to keep the grind oiled and clean and you'll be good. Uh, this will come with a Kydex sheath. A nice belt loop. This is a rotatable, uh, rotatable clip on that, so you can wear it horizontally, upside down, normal, however you want. Nice. Okay. This one, I would say we're looking at, uh, we're looking at probably a Q3, maybe a Q2 release. So some, sometime spring, summerish. Very nice. Okay. I like it. Next up, we have the Lioness Elite. Now the original Lioness. Uh, it, it's the same specs. It's 1095 black G10 handles. Um, the original Lioness was a bright pink, and for some people that was just a little too loud. You know, it was, it's 
is just too bright. And so we toned it down. We've got kind of a purple maroon Cerakote on this. I even think this looks great. I wouldn't be ashamed to carry this, you know. Oh, not in the slightest. Um, I think it's really gorgeous. Yeah. One of the things that I really like about this knife is that handle is so comfortable. It's, I mean, it's a smaller handle, but it doesn't really feel too small. And this finger groove here is really deep, which makes it great for beginners, great for people that maybe don't use a knife that often. But, you know, besides that, it just, you get locked in really well when you're holding on to this. So, Lioness Elite, look for this one sometime this year. No idea when it'll be released. <laughs> uh, you have a, an idea of the price range? I, I believe we're around one, 40, 150 for the retail price. So, you know, our, our dealers will price that down accordingly. Okay. Well, either way, it's uh, it's really attractive. I yeah. got it in hand a few minutes ago. I like it a lot. Great looking knife, black leather sheath to go along with. Yeah, show, put a, show them uh, how it fits into that sheath, actually. Oh, yeah. Because the fit is cool. How it's just, uh, just a little friction retention there. Yep. Simple. Uh, effective, I like it. And people have been pulling this out and putting it in all day, so it's stretched out to where it's gonna be. Sure. And it still fits really well. Nice. So. Okay, up next, we have a, another design by Joshua Swanigan. We released one by him probably two years ago called the Backwood Skinner. Josh has a lot of outdoors experience, has a lot of experience with, uh, with law enforcement, tactical experience. And he wanted to design a knife that he could do, that he could use as a, as a self-defense knife, but also as a utility tool. So that's why he came up with this one. The Cut 4.0 stands for Combat Utility Tool. It's basically a karambit and a utility knife all in one with a four inch cutting edge, as you may have guessed. Um, again, 1095. It's got a black traction powder coat. This is the tan canvas micarta handle scales. We've got kind of a new pattern put into that. Not really a name for it, uh, but it gives a little bit of a uh, little, little better look, but it also adds a little bit of traction. I've got an idea for a name. Yes. Uh, long sprinkler. <laughs> it's kind of like shooting the, you know, fountains of water there you across. Go. Yeah. Lawn sprinkler. Yeah, that sounds a little more manly than dragonfly, which is. Uh, oh no! Don't go dragonfly. <laughs> Man, lawn sprinkler. Yeah, lawn sprinkler. That, uh, I think that's winning. <laughs> so, one of the things we're excited about with this knife is also the sheath. Um, standard black kydex, which is not new for us, but we've added a couple of beta material loops onto this to make it a modular sheath. Customers can wear this however they want. It's got pull the dot snaps and we've got it set up to be worn as a karambit style knife so it would be a on the hip this way you would draw this direction um, however you can set this up however you want if you take one of these loops off you can put it back on and set it up for a regular belt carry you can set it up this way you can set it up backwards um, you can use one loop or two so it's set up to be able to be moved and all you got to do is open the snap unscrew that and set it up how, it, how you feel. The loops will also have a couple of different holes in them to make it tighter or looser depending on your belt size. Uh, it should fit up to about a two, I think 2.25 inch belt. Pretty comfortable. So Sweet, I like that one a lot. Yeah, this one is, uh, we're excited about this one. Uh, T-Jack, if you're watching, this one's for you. I think you ought to check it out. Okay, now onto these friction folders. They All look right. cool. So another thing that is brand new for us, we've never done this before, is a friction folder. We're known for building heavy-duty, overbuilt, tactical knives. And this is just, it's just not that heavy-duty. So uh, basically, after the Blade Show, uh, we, were, we were coming back, we were on the plane talking about what new designs and what, you know, what we thought would be fun for us to do and we, we stumbled across straight edge razors and just thought you know those are those are just they're slick you know they just they look good and we decided we're gonna make a friction folder we're gonna call it the tech raise which is short for tactical razor of course and turn it into something that uh, that we can sell so you've got a, a recurved blade here with kind of a modified tanto point almost um, this is a black G10 handle, and we, the, the tread on that we call Cryptic Cyber Scales. It was actually released last year at the SHOT Show on one of our cat models. 
So really a cool design. This is one, this is the one we're leaning towards, but just so that people know, we've got a couple of different options we've been looking at. There's a red and black G10. We've got a blue and black G10. There's a tan canvas version. Um, so we're gonna start with one, and then later on we'll probably release these other options as well. And that all depends on how many of them you guys buy, so buy them up. Exactly. <laughs> No frames on that, so with uh, with the materials, we're hoping to keep the, the retail price on this at or under $100. Wow, cool. Did you say it's 1095 steel? Yes, it is 1095. It's a tumble finish with a clear Cerakote. Very cool. Uh, like you said, it's got sort of this straight razor aesthetic to it while having the functionality of you know the full edge all the way out to the tip and um, sort of, like you said before, a modified Tonto. Um, I dig it. As a friction folder, I think that's really, really cool. Yeah. We're still working on the sheath for this, but most likely it will resemble a, a, a magazine pouch for, uh, you know, for like a firearm. So it'll be open and we want, it, we want it to be able to be worn either horizontally or, ver or vertically. So it'll be a friction fit into that leather. I like it. I think that's a great idea. Last but not least, we have the XL Bartender Defender. I'm sorry, did you say XL? I did say XL, yes. Um, okay. I, I can imagine that most people are uh, saying that's not very large. Well, that's correct. The original Bartender Defender is uh, actually a little bit smaller than this. We've we've made a change to give it more of a blade. That one had like a like a 0.75 inch cutting edge on it, and it was made to open boxes and beers. So what we decided with this one was let's put the bottle opener on the top instead of the bottom and give it more of a cutting edge. I like it. We've got kind of a this is a new powder coat for us. It's a it's a OD green color. We're kind of trying to decide between this or a dark gray powder coat. How much is like this um, this is the one that we brought with us so that everybody could get a good look. It'll be a uh, Kydex sheath neck knife. We just don't have the sheath made for this one yet. Cool. Well, I, I like you know small neck knives, whether, whether I wear them around my neck, stick them in a pocket, and make it a little pocketable fixed blade. Uh, little knives in this size are always really cool. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, look for this one late 2016. Late 2016. Right. Very cool. Okay. Tops Knives booth at SHOT Show 2016. Craig, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.